Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just want to do a monthly review since uh, now that the month of February is over concerning uh, trading and the new candle for the month is just out. I know it's not um, March yet, but um, a new candle comes out and on gold it's trying to break out of this uh, pennant from here all the way up here it makes this pennant flag um, it is very bullish <laughs> to say the least um, that's a daily the weekly and here's the monthly the monthly candle has opened up on gold so there you have it there was our close on the month we are up almost eight bucks already and it's not even dark where I am <laughs> um, silver same thing it is opening up here's the opening candle um, here's the daily. Uh, we got a lot of work to do, obviously, on a daily. We got resistance at 15. Obviously, uh, 15 would be an emotional spot. Um, and then 1550, 1516, um, that would be next. Uh, I would love to close the week above 1550, where this spike got rejected. Uh, the monthly. Now, the monthly close is almost an inverted hammer. Almost, but not quite. Um, some would say close enough. Some would say, no, not quite enough. But we got a, a inverted hammer almost on the monthly close on silver. Um, in my opinion, it would take two lengths of the body plus a half so it's it, it either way I don't even know if this chart is even halfway accurate as far as um, to the point but here we have one and then approximately two and then a half is what I'm looking for so is it an inverted hammer I guess so is it close enough for me eh, I don't know but we sure are opening up into uh, up above our monthly close. So most importantly, we're opening up our monthly close. Um, here's a monthly resistance. If it passes this resistance, we're likely to hit previous highs. If we break previous highs, we're likely to hit 18. No problem. So there you have it. Um, here's a 10 year yield daily I wish these lines would stay intact there you have it uh, it's in this pattern so and the pattern is really tight you get that corkscrew one two three four if it bounces five but um is it going to break down? Looks likely to me. That's a pretty steep angle. See that angle? It's likely to come down, maybe make a double bottom or something like that. Uh, weekly on the 10 year yield. Let's take these lines out because it always gets screwed up. So it's breaking previous lows. Next previous low is at 1.65, so 50 cents away. Or excuse me, 15 cents away. What? No. I'm sorry, I can't count. That's only 5 cents. Not too far. It's probably going to come down. Um, and on a monthly, let's see how. Nothing's holding this thing up. 
uh, $1.40. Now you can see why uh, maybe we're going negative interest rates. I mean, this thing is falling apart. Um, who knows what's going to happen? Doesn't look good. Here's the euro compared to the dollar. Uh, we've got a nice inverted hammer here. I believe this is the monthly. Monthly close, inverted hammer on the uh, euro. So euro euro's gonna uh, gain on the dollar. That means maybe that the dollar will fall. Is that a hanging man or what? Here we got two one, two lengths of the body, three lengths of the body, and a half. And hanging man on the monthly close on the dollar. We are above support of the eight and the thirteen, but um man, that's a long drop, that ten dollar drop there. Um copper. It's doing a little retracement after its little try at its break. So we'll see what happens. Uh copper did open down. Um on a monthly close on copper. Um it'd be nice to break this pattern and confirm um uh, this this candle here, this reversal bar. If we can close above two fifteen on copper or two fourteen, wherever it is, then we can confirm this candle right here. That's a reversal bar. Um US dollar closing opening uh lower actually just look at that real quick opening lower here on a daily opening up for the week that doesn't make sense looks like it says uh oops yeah I don't think the weekly I don't think that's the no I guess it is yeah, that's right. The weekly candle is so far in decision. The daily candle opened down, and so the monthly is down. Monthly close on the U.S. dollar looks like a hanging man. Very bearish signal, but you always need confirmation on these can on the reversal bars. So. Um, if it starts to break down, you can take a ride, but the the real break is at 95. Uh, S and P opening down. It closed above, but opening down. Uh, major break at 18. Previous lows. 1886, 1863, 1840, and we got a triple bottom. At 18, basically. Uh, crude. There's a reversal bar. So what do we need? We need confirmation. Previous high break. 34.50. Let's see. Um, I think it's opening up, but I can't be positive. There's a daily. Now it's opening down, but we got very close to a previous high break and a weekly. It's opening up. So we're breaking in the previous lows on a weekly. Previous high break is 34.66. So we're into support, but now we need a break. A break at 34, 34.66. Is it likely? Yeah, I think so because we've got a double bottom here and it's going up. Monthly close, reversal bar. Uh, just one real quick, uh, Bitcoin versus the dollar. We're looking for a 460, 460 break right here. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, looks like we got a break, um, retracement, and now it's trying for more. So a little bullish. 
uh, previous low break would be support at eight. Uh, monthly close there. Uh, I think I covered it all. Uh, all that's there important. Oh, uh, I had a question about uh, NUGT. So I'll just do a little wrap on this. Here's a weekly chart. The monthly chart is uh, my um, system here is not picking up anything on the, on the monthly. But you can see the 34's moving average is at 300. Um, looks like this thing got crunched. Uh, here's a weekly. Um, it's breaking this flat top here. So what do we have? We broke. It tried to come down, but held. It even tried to break, fell back, and opened up for the week. That is bullish. It went through its retracement. Because this didn't come down all the way down to the support, doesn't mean anything. What this tells me, though, it is much stronger, and it didn't need to consolidate. So it's ready for more. Ready for more upside. Here's the previous double top break. Here's the gap break. The gaps are support and resistance lines as well. So it broke uh, the double top gap break and it's running. So it's a gap and run. Um, well, not a gap and run, but a double top break. So from here, using our averages, the 8, 13, and 34 broke above, came back down, tried to come down, went up, closed, and opened the week higher above the previous high. Is it likely to go up? I think so. Um, uh, so the gold, what is it? The gold miners bull three times. So three times the derivative. That's awesome. Um, so I think that's it. Um, monthly closes. Let's take a real gander. Um, see where if we're breaking again. Gold. I was trying to break earlier. It's going to break when no one's watching. That's for sure. Look at that. It's breaking that pennant. It's breaking outside the pennant pattern. So there you go. Gold silver opens up. You know, break a 15 on silver. See how we're doing. Silver lags gold, so. But on the weekly, on silver, we look awesome. I mean, we have to close above here, above our 34, and follow the 8 all the way up. But, um,. As we speak, the 8 is crossing the 34. And if we go back to gold on a weekly, you can see the 8 and 13. And no, no way did this come down and bearish and uh, bullish retrace anything. It, this is a high level consolidation. Uh, no room for um, uh, sit and wait. This thing is ready. This thing is on fire. And I like the way that this reverse head and shoulders, I mean, look how quick that shoulder is, that right shoulder is. And it's a one, two, and a three break. Awesome. Three weeks on a, on a right shoulder. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, right there. This thing's going higher. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, come on. That's a high level consolidation where normally uh, stocks come back down to support. You buy into support. There's no room to buy. If you are not on this boat, you're going to miss it. That's for sure. That is. Um, and just look up. Uh, just look on the Internet and look up um, pennant pattern and see what kind of explosion they have. Actually, I'll do that right now. 
So the pennant forms, it looks like a symmetrical triangle where the support and resistance trend lines converge towards each other. The pennant pattern does not need to follow the same rules found in triangles where there should test each other's support and resistance lines several times. Also, the direction of the pennant is not as important as it is the flag. However, the pennant is generally flat. Um, okay, so here's the pennant. It's going to break out, come back to support, and um, take off. Um, there you go. And here it is again. And it's still creeping higher. So previous high break is 1250. We are at 1248. Keep your eyes open. Do what you can to get more gold and silver, especially silver. Because it has not started yet. All right. Um, this is all and well nice, but um, 16 and uh, close above 1550, and a break above 16, it's off to the races. So there you have it. Uh, please like and share. Let me know what's going on out there. I appreciate I appreciate all you guys. Um, uh, please visit um, my channel. Uh, I got a PayPal donation. Uh, please buy me a cup of coffee because I need it uh, so badly. And here's a button to open up a BitGold account. And uh, so far, so good on my BitGold account. I um, I, I kind of like using it uh, when you know I gotta pay for uh, some emergencies or or something. Uh, mainly a savings account. Um. Where I put money on a prepaid card and it is um, backed by gold. Um, actually, I use the vault and then I transfer money into my card whenever I need it. And it's very convenient. Um, don't know what to say because uh, if, if you're naive enough to think that it's going to be cheap to open up a savings account in the future, you're, you're kidding yourself. Uh, negative interest rates means they are taxing us to open an account and hold our money in their bank. Um, if you thought $10 a, a month was expensive for checking accounts, um, I would beware. Um, so that's why I got it. Um, I just want to get off the dollar, and I think everyone out there should too. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if uh, there's anything I can do for you guys.